Good morning, print fam. Welcome back to the print shop. My name is Darren. I'm honestly not sure what we're gonna do today. I'm doing an interview with Uninet. It's supposed to be at 11, which was 11 minutes ago. Sorry, there's a paper on the floor. Um, but he said 11, but he's an hour behind me, so it might really be noon at 11 for him. We'll see. I'll probably text him in a few minutes and be like, what's up? Other than that, we've got some artwork we're gonna work on. I did the shirt last night, it's due today. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna pick it up or if I need to deliver it. Hopefully they'll just pick it up. And I have one box that needs to go to the post office. My wife has a few packages that need to go to the post office as well. And that's about it. So, hopefully we can figure out some fun stuff to do today. I would like to get some more cleaning done. I have one of my BNI members that wants to come see the print shop. So I want it to be clean and not so messy so that we can make sure it's nice when they come. So I might finally have to clean the shirts off the printer. I might finally have to do that. So let's have a great day. All right, just finished my interview with Sean from Uninet. Sounds like it's not gonna be the official interview, but We'll post something so they can see kind of what we did, if they like that format, and then we'll get something officially recorded and posted. So, sorry it won't be coming out. I was more hopeful. But, the shop's a mess. So let's get some cleaning done.
You can see this much better on camera than you can in person. But my layering in Illustrator is causing funny lines. So I'm going through and trying to find all my weird things and reshape them. I'm not used to having to do that. You can even, I had a hidden one that you can kind of see it's a triangle like this one so it kind of sucks if any of you have suggestions of how to make layers more properly set themselves in the rip or when you're saving it I would love the feedback because if you're looking at the raw file it's fine but it's because like my brown layer is behind the black layer and so however it's ripping and printing then it's layering more ink causing the weird colors so if you have any feedback or suggestion of how to fix that I'd love to know on with the troubleshooting Hopefully this will work. Then we're gonna cut it on the Duplo. Then we're gonna take it out, shimmy it around, and then crease it. And then we'll manually fold them. Not looking forward to that part. Seven o'clock, trifolds are all hand folded. I'm not thrilled with them. There was still a little bit of cracking. I used a hundred pound glossy text, as you saw. We creased them, but still when I was folding them by hand, some of them cracked. Some of them cracked a little, some of them cracked a lot. So I don't know, not, like I said, not super thrilled. Really, truly makes me want to get a Morgana or something else. Um, I guess the reason I'm looking at the Morgana Digifold Pro or the 4Max Atlas C300, which is basically the same thing, just rebranded, is because I want it to be able to fold everything that I do. And as far as I can tell, the Morgana is the only one that will do the higher weight papers. But I don't know. We're gonna check the computer. That wasn't a yawn, I just was covering my mouth. We're gonna check the computer, see what else we gotta do. Hopefully we're going to call it a night soon because I'm tired of working late every single day. All right, print fam, it's time to call it a night. The printer is mostly cleaned up and things are starting to look a little bit better in here. Still have a bit of a mess kind of down here, a little bit of a mess right here. Progress was made. Tomorrow I'm gonna vacuum the office, do a little bit more cleaning and hopefully get it in tip top shape. So got a few projects done. Also got some prints done for Bob that I didn't record. Just some three by five postcards and a couple of game boards. 
for him. I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow when he picks them up. So, if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. As always, we just appreciate it. We just appreciate you being here. Bye, Prevan. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.